gorgeous people it's amber welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to show you how i turned these plain boring velvet black boots into some awesome buffalo check boots with stockings yes stockings from the dollar tree so when i saw these stockings i thought oh my gosh those would be such a super cute boot and when i'm looking at them i thought you know i'm at the dollar tree so it would probably take about four stockings to make these so i thought why not? Worst case scenario is I totally bomb this project and I end up with being out $4 and still having a plain pair of black velvet boots that I need to do something with. No big deal. Let's give it a try. But they turned out so cute. I'm so excited. And I just threw in a little bonus at the end of the video showing you how I have this Buffalo check shirt that I actually got at Family Dollar. I think it was last year and um you know i don't like the whole tie thing like i that's just not my style so i wanted to cut that off and originally i was just going to cut it off and put the fur in the front of the shirt you're going to see that in the video but then when i modeled the very end you're going to see that i decided to use a fur that was actually um a little bit darker than that fur and i just kind of worked it around the back because it just didn't look right with just having fur in the front and no fur in the back but it looked so cute with the fur so i had to do it one way or another and that was all that they had of that particular kind that i bought it was like a clearance uh, red dot item i guess it wasn't gonna be round anymore so i just had to make it work you know what i feel like i did <laughs> so i'm really excited to get into this video so without further ado let's get into okay, it okay guys materials are in the description box below you're going to start by the obvious and take the tag off of the stocking and you're going to do that and then take that inside part out now i keep the inside part because i use it as templates for other things i do not need a template for this project but i mean you can throw it away or keep it but i always keep mine so next thing you're gonna do is get your seam ripper and you're gonna seam rip out the stocking. What I love about these Dollar Tree stockings is that they're not sewn very well. So seam ripping them out is super easy. It only takes like a minute because they don't really sew them very well. So that part's really, really super easy and shouldn't take you very long. Okay, so you're gonna do that same process to the other three stockings. Once that's done, you're going to, I noticed that there was a lining. I'm like, okay, uh, oh deal with that later so then I'm going to go ahead and take the stocking and I'm going to cut off that bottom booty part of the stocking because you don't need that you're adding it to an existing shoe or and or boot so you don't need that part and then I'm just gonna use that as my template to cut the other three stockings okay now here I'm going to uh, put well, I'm going to sew one of the sides together. Now, I have a no-sew option for this as well, and you're gonna see that in the next clip. Now, the reason why you wanna sew one of the sides together is because obviously you want one seamless uh, piece of fabric to add to the boot. So you're gonna to need to either stitch down and or glue one of the sides of the, each set of stockings. And that's not lining up, so I'm just gonna line it up. And that part is done. Now in this clip, I'm gonna show you the no sew option. You're gonna use the fabric glue of your choice and you're going to go ahead and just put some glue down. You don't need pins. You would just put glue on the edge of this and then you would just squeeze it together. That simple. So now that I have mine sewn together, I'm going to go ahead and use my fabric glue now. And I'm going to hem the bottom part because I don't want it to be raw like that. I want it to look a little more finished. So I'm going to just go ahead and add some of the fabric tack to the bottom edge there and then just fold it over. Um, because I decided to leave that lining in for structure, that's why I left it in there because it adds structure to what's going to be the boot. So you're gonna wanna go ahead and glue down your lining first, and then you're gonna go back over it again to glue down the material part because obviously there are two sections. I also wanna notate here that you do not have to use the fabric glue. You can also use hot glue because you're gonna see me use hot glue later in the video, and uh, it works just as well for this type of project. So you don't have to use fabric glue if you don't want to. You could just simply use hot glue. I'm going to add some books to this so that it can dry and then we're going to move on. Okay, now that everything's dry, we are finally 
I thought anyways, ready to add it to the boot. So I get my tape measure, decide how far from the heel I want to put my fabric and I decided on about an inch. Now I'm getting ready to put it on and I'm like, okay, I need to tack this side down because that's just not gonna work. So you're gonna see me take my glue gun and I go all the way up through the fur. Yeah, don't do that. Uh, what you're gonna wanna do is stop at the buffalo check with the glue and I'll show you why later. So just take your glue gun and just glue down just the buffalo check part of the stocking. Leave the fur part unglued. That was a mistake that I made, but it wasn't a huge mistake. I mean, you can't tell, but I'm just letting you guys know that do not glue all the way down as you just saw me do. Stop at the fur. Okay, so now that I have that done, now I'm ready to add it to the bottom of the boot. So I measure again with my tape measure and make sure I'm about an inch from the heel. And then I'm just gonna stick a little dab of glue with my hot glue gun as close to the zipper as I can. You don't wanna get too close to that zipper because you need to be able to zip the boot up and down. So you definitely do not wanna get too close, but you wanna get close enough where it looks good. Hope that makes sense. Once you've done that dab of glue and it dries, you're just gonna run another line of glue down the side there. Again, as close to the zipper as you can get, but not too close so that it's still able to function for you to get in and out of your boot. So once that's done, you're just going to uh, peel back the bottom part and you're just gonna add a little uh, dab of glue and you're gonna work in sections. You're gonna just go down. Now, you see how close I was to the edge there? Yeah, that was too close with the hot glue. So you're gonna wanna go back further from the edge because when you put it down and press it onto the boot, it spreads. So you don't want it to spread out to the bottom and then you're gonna see it. So see how far up I go? That's what you need to do. You wanna go up farther on that edge of the boot so that the glue does not seep out the bottom. Now you're gonna see me go ahead and um, take it to the other side. The reason I do this is because I want to make sure that I have um, no excess fabric because if you have excess fabric then you need to get rid of it at this point. You do not wanna have bulk around this boot. So I jumped to the other side to make sure everything would line up properly and then I added my glue just to tack it down. But uh, don't tack it down if you see that you have a lot of excess fabric on whatever boot that you're working with because you're gonna need to cut that off first and then fold it over like I did to have a clean finished edge and then add it because you do not want bulk. So, I mean, there's some people might need three stockings for their shoes. You know, it just depends on what size shoe that you wear. I needed two stockings for mine, but you're gonna figure that out. It's, it's a, super easy. It's all the same process. You would just have a third stocking. So now that I'm happy with that, I'm just gonna go ahead and fill in the parts that need filled back in because you know I jumped to the other side there. So you've gotta add glue to the rest of it to make sure that everything is secure. Now I know people are probably like, mm, hot glue on shoes in the weather. Guys, I've done it before and it holds up just fine. I understand this is for like, you know, it's a boot. It's for winter and stuff like that. But yeah, honestly, I live in an area where I get a lot of snow and yeah, these hold up just fine with the hot glue. But if you prefer, you can use an E6000 or some other stronger type of glue for this instead of the hot glue. That is always an option. So I'm at the very end here. I'm loving how it's looking. We are almost done. Yeah, look how it's coming together looking really good. So then I notice once I zip it up and then I see where I'm going to sew that part right there, I'm like, um, there's a gap. Hmm. I'm like, what am I going to do about that gap? Yeah, we'll have to see in the end. So we're going to move on. Here's why you do not glue all the way up to the top because you need to sew and or glue this part together. And if you glued all the way up, then you're not going to be able to get your needle through very good. And if you're adding, you know, you're going to glue these seams together, you're doing the no sew method, you still need the, that extra material for the glue. It's like your seam allowance to, to glue it together. So don't glue all the way up as you saw me do in that previous clip, because this part here is why. 
you're gonna need to stitch this part together and or glue this part together and either way you still should have not ran your glue all the way up to the top so I'm just gonna tie this off and then it's done guys I decided to leave that gap there I thought it looked really cool and I didn't want to mess with having to fill it in so I just left it like that but if you want to fill it in you could always fill it in with the excess part of the stocking and this is what the finished boot is looking like. I love them, guys. I think it's super cute. So in the next clip, you're gonna see me have a buffalo check shirt and I just added fur to the bottom of it so that I could have a matchy matchy outfit. <laughs> so I bought this shirt at the Dollar Tree not too long ago. I'm gonna take this fur that I got as a remnant, or no, it was on clearance at Joanne Fabrics. Now I hate the tie thing with shirts, it's just not my thing. So I'm just gonna simply cut that part completely off and then I'm going to add my fur to the bottom of the shirt. Now you're gonna see me pin the trim onto the bottom of the shirt. If you're doing a no-sew method, you would skip the pinning part and you would simply take the Fabri-Tac and or fabric glue of your choice and just glue this trim down. It's really that simple, guys. You do not have to do this as a sew method, but I prefer to sew, so if you don't want to, do a sew method then you would just use your fabric tack glue and or the fabric glue of your choice but it has to be fabric glue for this because you're going to want to throw this into the wash and wash it where the boots you can use the hot glue because you are not going to throw them in the wash and wash them well most people don't i don't know maybe there are boots you can do that too if there are then you want to use fabric glue if not hot glue is fine so anyway, I'm just running my pins along the bottom of the shirt here because I'm going to take it to the sewing machine to sew it together. And that's how I'm gonna do mine. And I'm almost to the end here. Now you're gonna see me just do the front part here. And in the end, you're gonna see at the very end of the video, I did decide to go all the way around because I just didn't feel that looked right. But originally my thought process was to just do the front part because I did not have enough fur to go around the entire shirt, but I changed my mind. So here we go, and there it is, ta-da! Super simple, and I end up doing the same thing all on the back of the shirt. Okay guys, so that was, like I said, pretty easy. And the reason why I put the no sew in the title is because you could totally make this a no sew project. You don't have to sew that seam that I decided to sew together. You could absolutely glue that seam together and then the whole project is a no sew. So that's why I put with no sew options. So I just want to stress that. I hate it when I click on a title on YouTube and it says no sew and then they sew. That's false advertising. It's like catfishing you into the video. That's not fair. So I don't want to do that. So that's why I put with a no sew option. So I decided to sew, but you can absolutely not sew and just glue the entire project and it would still turn out just as awesome as mine did. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that subscribe button, click the notification bell, like, share, do all those things to help other people find this channel. Thanks so much for taking the time to check this out and I'll catch you next time. Bye. Okay guys, I'm gonna do this a little bit differently because it is really cold where I live. So going forward, I'm just going to like talk about what I did and just show it to you. So here's the shirt. <laughs> cute, right? So yeah, I just added the fur to the bottom of the shirt. It was super simple. And this could actually be a no sew as well. You could just simply glue this fur to the bottom of your shirt with some Fabri-Tac glue or the fabric glue of your choice. You do not need to sew this. This could totally be a no sew as well. But when I got around to the back, I ran out of this kind. So this is like a darker uh, fur that I used right here in the back. But I think it looks fine. I mean, I think it turned out just fine. I think it's cute. It works well. So I'm just going to roll with it like this. So here's the shirt. Now we're going to pop in and we're going to show you the boots. <laughs> so here's the boots. I have a photo that I'm going to show at the very end with the, um, you know, the me wearing the boots, but um, I don't have the right setup to wear the boots to show you right now. So anyways, they turned out really cute. Again, this could be a total no sew project if you chose to simply glue the areas that I chose to sew on the video, just glue those areas. You do not have to sew. You could definitely glue them using a hot glue as I did, or you could also use a uh, E6000 or something a little bit stronger if that's what you wanna do. I find that the hot glue holds just fine, so that's why I went that route. But otherwise, these turned out super cute. I wore these to work today, got a ton of compliments. And this part, keeping that uh, additional 
uh, inside part. I think I showed you there how it separates, but I kept that inside lining because it actually helps this stay up. See how this isn't going anywhere? And when you have it around your leg, it doesn't go anywhere. It doesn't start to roll down on you or anything like that. So I definitely recommend doing that. So other than that, yeah, they turned out super cute. I'm super pumped. <laughs>